everybody. Hello. Thank you for coming. Um, can you please introduce yourself? Thank you. I'm Ade Olashibawale, so I prefer to be called D. You can just call me simply D. That's that. Okay, my name is um, Okoyemi Oyebode, so it's nice to be here, actually. So today we'll be talking about um, a topic that um, has been around, I think. So we're talking about fear of missing out, aka FOMO. I think everybody, or I don't know who experienced it in their lifetime, <laughs> because it's something that, especially in this age of social media and stuff like that, so we see ourselves trying to, like, do everything with every, every other person is doing, you get? We try to, like... Um, meet up and catch up with what our friends are doing or even people that we see on social media that we don't know. Let me just define the fear of missing out. That's FOMO for people that might not know uh, what we're talking about. It's just a feeling of anxiety or insecurity over possibility of missing out on something important or something or, or, or an opportunity. You, you understand? So and so now that we're here now, we're asking you, um, have you ever had that feeling before, that feeling of um, you missing out on something important? out fear of missing out to me actually isn't doesn't even start with the very important things it starts with a few things little things around for example your friends and um your, your friends your group of friends um meeting somewhere you guys had a plan and you couldn't meet up even from a simple thing like that there's a way that and you missed out on it and Particularly, everyone is sending a video, everyone is, you know, posting pictures, and everything looks really interesting. At that moment, you know, you feel like exactly you're missing out on something. If it starts from those little, little things and cannot be controlled, a lot of pressure will be put on someone when bigger things come and that we can term important things, I think. Yeah, I, I agree with you. She has said it, it's, when it comes to fear of meeting up, they think boys down to even little things that you you can ever think of, like things that you can never imagine sometimes, like, you know, but you asked a question, you said, have, I, have you ever been in a situation where you have mm. actually missed out? Yeah, yeah, definitely, countless time, you know, countless time. I have, personally, can, can I you have. Share, have can you share with us, like, the um, areas in your life that you feel like you're missing out on something? Um, areas by which which I think I feel I have missed out is, you know, as a chemistry student, I I finished university, I finished my master's only to realize another part of me where I did not even, you know, touch academically at all. Mm -hmm. And it looked like every other person who discovered themselves earlier before the university had taken the best step they could actually take while it took me having to even finish master's degree in a different mm. department entirely. Mm. You know, I sometimes feel like I've missed out on a lot of things that I would have actually, you know, been able to do if I had just sat myself down before entering to university at all. And, you know, we would have been able to just achieve almost the same thing right now. But, you know, having to just discover those things and everyone around you just wondered, are you sure you didn't miss I'll miss your way into that department that you went. And do you think that the feeling still continue? Or you just like you have moved past it. You see, you have grown. And I'm like, okay, I'm not supposed to think about all these things anymore. And does it still affect you? I feel when it comes to missing out, I feel like one, yes, it is um, natural for one to actually feel that way. Mm -hmm. It is very natural. But what we, what we do with it also matters. I cannot just keep um, dwelling on the fact that I had missed out. What is the next thing for me to do? is yeah. what I should think about. Because if I keep thinking, oh, I have missed out, even the one that concerns marriage, like I'm sister Diola said, you know, I cannot just sit down and be wondering, oh, my mates are enjoying them, their spa with their boo somewhere in uh, Maldives or somewhere, and, and I am here, you know. Rather than just um, keep dwelling on that, I should just maybe put my mind somewhere else. Because one thing that is very sure is that as I am, apart from God, I am in charge of my happiness too. So yeah. I cannot allow missing out on something to actually, you know, weigh me down because either I want it or not, everything comes part time. I see presently, I don't know, probably before, I might have seen it as, oh, I've missed out on this thing, you know what I'm trying to do. But presently, I don't see it as missing out because I realized that life itself comes with different challenges you get. Mm -hmm. And one thing about life is that 
everybody have the right time, you know? Even just think, I just see that, oh, it's not time for me to have this thing. That's the main reason why I cannot achieve this thing. But I think everybody's now is talking from the place of growth. You understand? I think you're, everybody's now, you're right now mature. Yeah. So just let us look at people that are still struggling with all these things. You understand? People that are going through the thing. So it's really teenagers and like young, um, like, People like in their twenties and stuff like that. A lot of people face it. You understand? When you see people on social media and um, you are seeing what they are doing, you be like, ah, this person is never my age means, and the person is getting stuff done. The person is making this move, making this way, opening doors, and you're just like, okay, I'm trying to like knock on this door, and this door is not opening. So when you were going through all those um, phases of um, that, you felt like you were missing out, and because actually you were missing out, just that now you come to understand that. Okay, there are stages to these things, you understand? So when you, when you were going through yeah, all those yeah, things, yeah, did yeah. you um were you able to identify that okay, this is what is causing this problem? This is what is causing me to feel some kind of way. Uh personally, at the initial stage, I could not, I was not able to identify what was actually causing the issue. You get mm-hmm. I just it was just it was more like, oh, you know the anxiety, the way actually it's talked about social media and stuff, and the way the society is, you know. There's a way this the society, even before the age of social media and stuff, there's a way the society is, you know, you have your, what's it called, is that your parent or what's it called, somebody is telling you, oh, this person is in, is in this class now, or this person is now a doctor, or this person is now a PhD older, and indirectly they are using style to tell you that, okay, well, what are you doing <laughs> with your life, you get that kind of stuff, or this other person. So initially, I could not identify, I could not identify what the cause of, or was it called the, that fear in me? I could not identify it initially, but it was later, you know, growth. Uh, there's a, there's something that comes with growth actually. You know, when you're growing up and when you go, you you just get to the point where you just realize that. Oh, wait, what's all this thing for exactly? What is this exactly? Why am I why am I disturbing myself? Why am I rushing? Why am I trying to be like somebody else? Um, as for me, I come to realize that either we like it or not, people around us always exist. <laughs> the reasons, the, the reasons That's why true. we we feel those um, fear of missing out, they would never, they wouldn't leave the world for me, or neither will I live for them. And the way social media now even come to, you know, crown it all, which is now mostly affecting people these days. That, like I was saying, social media has not come to visit us; that's come to really stay. So it now depends on everyone having to that, now guiding their heart and mind, That's knowing true. that. Yeah. <laughs> everybody yeah. needs to you know you just appreciate what is happening in other people's life because if you don't you will just start running on SSB race and you know this the social media is making us believing that even if that thing was not your goal initially in the first place in life mm-hmm. maybe you didn't have that thing as your plan before but because someone is starting to achieve it it suddenly can become your if you're not careful if you're not guiding your art so well you know because maybe normally you didn't plan to have any house at um, 18, you plan to achieve some things before then, and suddenly you see one teenager, 18 years old, buying a car. Suddenly yeah, that like, becomes your yeah, like, aim also. So it is easy to swerve these days now to say, mm-hmm. yes, to say mm-hmm. that, ah, you, you won't even remember, that's even the funniest thing, if you keep looking at what people are achieving, you won't even remember what you actually have planned for. You just actually. want to make, you want to just, you know, everybody, so everybody saying that, I bought this at this time, I also bought it too. I did this at this time, I did the same too, and it's it can actually affect. So once you just you know really appreciate what's happening in other people's life. And if you cannot actually take it, maybe uh, once you just leave the social media for, <laughs> for I, I actually remember this thing you just said, that thing made me remember something I said some some times ago. I was just like, oh, whenever somebody is whenever you that is happy, just be happy with that person genuinely. You know that kind. Is that that one that you're going there? You're trying to pretend and say, Ah, oh, I'm so happy for you. And deep down in your heart, you know you're not happy for the person. Just be happy for that person, Jenny. So that when your own, when your time comes, you just know that yes, this is my time. Fear of missing out makes some people feel insecure about a lot of things. You understand? People are doing so, so you don't want to like that. go out, you don't want to like talk about this. So how will you deal with all those insecurities and stuff like that that this fear of missing out brings? Well, like she said earlier, you know, um, one, be genuinely happy for people. And one thing I have actually learned, got to learn lately is that the more you dwell on something, and you know, our mind is actually a very good thing to really deal with. Mm-hmm. When you cannot take a matter and drop it in a few minutes, 
if you dwell on it for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you are in for the trap because that's when your mind will now start to help you imagine what will have actually happened if this and that did not, you know. And I realized that the more I linger on a particular thing, the more I begin to see possibilities that didn't even exist. And I begin to live within the range of that possibility. Even I can use, I can even react within that range to someone. And it's just a, a, a product of my own imagination. It didn't even happen. Lately, I told myself, I would because I assume very, very bad. I assume a lot. You can just look at me and I believe that you're assuming this. And when a person speaks out, they talk totally different from my assumption. Just take my mind off it. Totally. So when I see something on Instagram, I smile, I show others, did you see this thing? I even save the one that I wish in future I'll be able to need. Mm. Maybe, I, maybe I see, for now, I see reception dress that is nice for wedding. I, I save it now so that when mm. I want to buy my own, you like, okay, I, you I go back to my Instagram sure. page. Yeah. And, uh-huh. So I just make sure that I am, I am as light-headed as possible when it comes to other people's matter. How do you make people, how, how can you advise people to grow to that level where all these things don't really affect them anymore? You tell me, it, it's about you training your mind. So now take for instance, you see something on social media, you know that, okay, uh, this thing is a nice thing, but you know that right now with your budget and where, the way your family is and the way things are, you know you cannot afford this thing. So there's a need for you to tell yourself, if God, there's something I, there's a way I did, there's something that helps me. I used to just tell myself unconscious, I would just tell myself, if I see anything that I feel like, okay, maybe I want to get the thing, I was just like, if God has not given me, it does not belong to me. I also want to add that um, everyone should actually be able to point out a problem in that a, a, a struggle mm. that each person has. Some mm. people's struggle is not with seeing people on social media flaunting and showing themselves being lovely. It might be eating too much. And so I'm going down to everybody realizing their struggle in the first place. How far can you take seeing someone being successful on social media? Mm. If you cannot take it, I think it's time you just log out. I've had people say that they log out of social media for months, not because of any other person, it's because of themselves, their own mental health. You know, mental health is very important now very 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 very. some people have run a race of wanting to become like that person they saw on social media to the extent that they are falling so bad Mm -hmm. people can actually so people can actually you know see people getting married getting cars achieving great successes academically online and not feel moved Mm -hmm. those ones are Mm -hmm. it's easy for them some people cannot even take two minutes of seeing someone even a friend of theirs posting a picture mm-hmm. online, just a friend, maybe the person just achieved a little thing, they cannot even take it in. Not because they don't appreciate God in the person's life, but because it makes them think about their own life. So I feel like everybody should just discover their struggles. Can I actually take mm-hmm. seeing people's successes? Do I have to just you know, move back mm-hmm. and not even hear anything about it? Not because you are angry, but because you know you cannot allow someone to put you under unnecessary pressure. They are, they are, they are <laughs> still in life, you understand? everybody's going to go through this stage of not having a lot, not having the best thing at this time. And when some people, eh, when we look at some people that are up there, you understand, they, you don't know the work they've already built him. Like, you don't know their struggles from like maybe five years back, you understand? When you ask them blooming on social media, you see, them, but yeah, they may be your age metal, but you don't know when they started. You don't know how deep their foundation is. When it, it's just grace of God that you shall have some things just like, oh, when you start something, things just blue. You understand? But naturally, there's a progression. There's always a phase that you're supposed to pass through to get to another level. You understand? I think that people need to come and understand that. You know, when you think you're missing out, you're not missing out. It's just a journey. You understand? You're not actually missing out on important things. When is your own time to not enjoy that moment? You will enjoy it. So what measures did you take to like prevent it from affecting you directly again? Like that you have gone to that that uh, anything I see on social media doesn't move me anymore. So how did you get there? And how did you prevent- the fact I don't think I don't even think let's listen to with ourselves. Though. I'm not sure, but I think even though you've got you you think you've grown, there's no how those things mm-hmm. do not have effect on you. That's the sincere truth. I think one thing that I love people is no, no. be content, you understand? Be content with what you have. Yeah, that's the word. 
that's the, that's the word well i really really support everything you guys have said with the contentment and with conscious determination that i would not be moved by what anyone does and i also want to add to the fact that in our own little way i think one should make him or herself happy just enjoy it doesn't have to be a weekly something if it's going to affect your budget it doesn't have to be weekly, but you know, just make sure that you are satisfied. You are happy with yourself. You are able to, you know, content yourself. Find, find happiness for yourself. And we lose ourselves <laughs> trying to like follow people. So they're on their way on their own lane, you know, following where they are part <laughs> is to follow. But because of you feel like ah, people are doing this, let me follow them. People are let me, I don't want to miss out on you know one day. What are they looking for there? Maybe there's something, there's gold at the end of that tunnel. And you now find yourself coming back to where you're, where you're, where you're supposed to be. Yeah. When we meet people who are feeling or um, pressured, mm -hmm. in our own way, we can actually help talk to them. Because we don't know how many people we can actually help by just speaking to. Mm -hmm. Because some people don't know that they shouldn't even feel as easy, as, as complex as some people may look. Some are just quite easy. Even a simple word of, you don't need this thing. Mm -hmm. can actually help because and everybody cannot be your role model you get so like there's some people that you I, I used to watch like youtube videos and stuff young people asking influencers questions like okay when is the right time for me to have sex all those kind of things my friends are doing this so I, I want to do it. not because you have any reason but because your friends are doing it and they'll be like do you boo do you no, but i'm like what is do you about to this thing and that kind of thing to me <laughs> <What an influence. laughs> You, 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 need to, you, need, you need to be careful of the people that you learn from. You need to be careful of the people you follow. Mm -hmm. You understand? I just want to. I don't want to sound so too spiritual, but I think it's better you for one to team up with God. Yeah. Because I've come to realize that um, um, as much as we believe that the only thing that God normally do is break down wall of Jericho <laughs> and you know do those more things that are very very mighty, like you know those are the things that we should involve God in. You know, God is really interested in our day-to-day -day activity. Mm -hmm. So if anyone is feeling right. pressured and you've tried all you can physically and it's not working, just mm. give it to God. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for coming. I really, Amen. really appreciate it. <laughs> I really, really appreciate you before. And, uh, yeah, you will call. You sure you'll come back. Yeah, all right. all right. All right. Like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. So Definitely. this is Adiola and this is uh, Yeah, thank you so much for coming. Yeah.